There's so much that I wish I knew before I started Nature Maze. So here's some of the highlights so that you are well prepared for when you buy your first HMO. Before I got into HMOs, I was told how amazing they were going to be. I was told they were going to be easy cash flow, uh, you know, and, and all these other investors were saying you know, that you could just go out there, you could do it, you fill the properties and set and forget. And I think one thing that I, I wish I had known at the time was how much hard work they were actually going to be once you bought them. Now this is not to try and put you off, it's to give you a bit of a reality check on what an HMO is. An HMO is something which provides you with high cash flow, but it does have additional work. And anything which is worthwhile generally is worth working for. But I think when it comes to property investing, if you treat it like a hobby, it'll pay you like a hobby and it'll cause you loads and loads of problems. If you treat it like a business, then it will pay you like a business. And that's one thing which I hadn't really got my head around when I first started. I thought I could, as I said, set and forget um, um, but actually what I needed to do was to have a business mind on and go, this is going to be my business for the next 50 years or forever, essentially, until I pass it on to my kids and I'll teach them to look after it like a business. So that's a key thing that we must get right, first and foremost, is don't think it's going to be a couple of properties to give you a bit of extra income. Think about it as this is something I want to have in my portfolio of, uh, of properties, of uh, of assets, of businesses, uh, because it's going to pay you really well. But you need to put in systems and processes which are going to manage it to allow you to free up your time to do what you want to do. Now, most people get into property not because they love it, because they, they see it as a means to an end. And that's how it was for me. It became a love, but it was a means to an end so that I could focus on um, my family, so I could focus on creating music as a, as a musician before getting into property. So I wish I had known that that was the way that I should have been thinking from day one. Now, if you've read my book, Next Level Landlord, you would have read the opening story, which talks about two tenants who started going at each other. Now, these were two of my very first tenants in our first HMO. So that was one of my first learnings was that I shouldn't be managing the property. I should be using someone with a bit more expertise, someone who's got experience in dealing with these issues, but also someone who is less emotionally involved because it's my property, it's my house. You know, I want the, happy, the tenants to be happy there, but also I want to make sure the tenants are paying the rent and uh, it's hard to detach yourself. Whereas you have that person in the middle, so you can detach yourself and make a business decision, which is in the interests of uh, the tenant, but also in the interest of running your business uh, smoothly. The final thing that I wish I knew was how much support I would need from the people around me. So whether that's friends, family, or other colleagues that are doing property investing. So I started in a community of property investors um, that were training me, but also were mentoring me and coaching me. Uh, and now that's what we provide for others, having been done this for, for over six, seven years now. So I thought the initial information, the initial support would be enough, but actually over the longer t period of time, you come across new challenges new hurdles. Um, so having that support around us was so, so important. And we still have it to this day. We've just upped the level of the mentorship, we upped the level of people that we hang around with to help us to grow to the, to the level that we want to get to. So those are some insights into um, some of the things I wish I knew before I got into investing in HMOs. There are loads more, uh, which I'll probably share on this channel. So um, if you'd like to hear more about all of this stuff, then please subscribe, hit the button down below, uh, and then you'll get notified when the next video comes out.